I am reading from Acts chapter um, twenty verse seven till uh, the twelfth verse. Okay, it goes like this: that uh, Paul was preaching in a place called uh, Troas. Okay, he was preaching uh, a sermon on uh, in a perhaps a hall in in the second floor. Okay, and um, perhaps many people were there, and it was uh, a late night meeting. and perhaps uh, uh, we call all night meeting right so perhaps something like that and he was going through the meeting and there were several people who have come perhaps they have worked all through the day and they've come for the night for the meeting to hear the word of god from uh, apostle paul saint paul okay they say saint paul is not a good preacher it's written in the scripture and uh, paul says uh, uh, defends uh, himself about that okay mm. but he was preaching right and when he was preaching and all the people were listening to him and there was one boy named eutychus okay eutychus no one will uh, name their ch- child as eutychus right uh, because eutychus is not setting a, a very good example here somebody is uh, uh, has written the meaning of eutychus let me just uh, uh, go through once uh, eutychus means fortunate mm. i'll try to read i i didn't get it anyway i i was just scrolling down and i uh, happened to read it i'll read it later on okay eutychus means uh, fortunate it seems right whatever nobody will name uh, their son as eutychus right because uh, he is not setting a good example uh, by sitting on in on the window and um, falling down from the window and he was sleeping when preaching was going on <laughs> not a good example right and uh, paul was preaching perhaps uh, he was preaching like me or i preach like him not interesting not a uh, 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 glamorous message not a, a eloquent message but you know everybody had to listen to paul because there is no other go that uh, they could have at that time even now you also don't have any other go but to listen to this message and paul was preaching and preaching and preaching and was going through the night and this boy uh, uh, fell asleep and he fell asleep and he has fallen down from the window i think it's the second or third floor okay he fell down and he died such a terrible thing right in a meeting where they must have been preaching third story third floor very high okay very uh a uh, a uh, uh, very big height and he has fallen from there and he died mm. the joke of the <laughs> story is that paul came down perhaps and he you know um uh, went on about uh, you know giving him perhaps uh, artificial respiration and try to revive him and all of that and this boy uh, has come to life paul must have prayed and this uh, boy began to live again do you know what happened after that this boy was taken back to the third floor again and paul began to preach and paul began to you know break the bread and the, uh, you know all the other program went as usual as normal you know mm, praise the lord hallelujah it sounds me sounds to me like this paul must have been telling him hey you don't like my preaching you died come back to life again you'll have to listen to my preaching hallelujah there is no other thing that they would have done where else can the boy go uh, he died and he came back to life and there is nothing else there was nothing else this boy could do but sit in the presence of the lord hallelujah often we also go through hard time serving the lord go through hard time you know ministering to people and and when we are going through a hard time there is nothing else we can do but continue to go through the hard time <laughs> if you are going through a hard time there is nothing else you can do continue to be just there yes or no if you are praying 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 and your prayer is not being answered there is nothing else you can say about it you cannot have any questions in your heart or in your mind 
but just keep praying just keep being there if you are attending a church and there is nothing that you, you are seeing uh, in your life a kind of a progress or making lot of money you know in your life there's nothing else you can do but to continue to go to the same church yes or no praise the lord hallelujah so what we understand from all of this is that if you have been serving god and you should continue to serve the god you should continue to serve the same god and no matter what benefit you are getting no matter what uh, uh, advantage you are getting no matter uh, how much you are being rewarded or you know making money out of it or taking benefit out of it but you should be continuing to mm, Uh, do the same thing preaching or teaching or singing or being in worship or being in choir or uh, serving food or serving you know in the church doing administration doing uh, you know uh, any other kind of work putting up carpets putting up chairs putting up uh, the pa system or put putting up the pil- pulpit and whatever work you have been doing you'll have to continue to do the same thing no matter what benefit you have received no matter what uh, uh, you know reward award have you received no matter what financial blessing uh, you are able to receive or not receive you'll have to continue to uh, do the same because there's nothing else you will be able to do other than serving the uh, good lord hallelujah other than se- serving our god there's uh, no other place where you can go right uh, jesus had uh, many disciples it seems about 72 or so uh you know uh many of the disciples have left jesus when they have left jesus uh you know uh and he asked the 12 other disciples who stayed back who didn't leave jesus you know uh then he asked uh, the other 12 w- would you like to leave would you like to go away you are most welcome to go kind of uh uh statement jesus must have done you know then they said where else can we go where else can we go hallelujah so today our statement is also likewise where else can we go what else can we do to whichever to which other god can we go <laughs> to which other lord can we go to which other savior can we go he is the only one he is the only god we have in our life praise the lord hallelujah this is the message today this is what god is trying to tell us if you have been thinking that you know Mm, we have been serving without any recognition at your home or in your office at your workplace or in your ministry circle or in your church or anywhere hallelujah there's nothing more you can do about it hang on hang on hang on dead or alive now you'll have to be at the same place sickness or no sickness you'll have to be at the same place benefit or no benefit you'll have to stay at the same place are you all with me now praise the lord hallelujah mm, shall we come back again uh, uh, there is no other better place for you to go if you think you have you have found a better preacher than me a better person who loves you loves you even more <laughs> than this man of god uh, one day you'll have to come back to this place i challenge you amen right so this is the place where god has blessed you this is the place god where god has sent you and stay here and come back here praise the lord hallelujah so good or bad nice or not nice benefit or no benefit profit or loss ah uh, come to moses brother <laughs> come back to us text us give a prayer request ask us to pray for you come to let's pray every a wednesday thursday saturday sunday don't try to you know uh, think that you'll get another better uh, place where you'll be able to go god has brought you to this place god has got you introduced to me god has got you introduced to let's pray program come back here if you have been going to any church go back there don't try to search other places discard your place discard the place where you have where god has kept you where you have been called to be in the family there is no other place than the place where you've been put by god may god bless this message hallelujah i'll do a small prayer our dear gracious heavenly father hallelujah 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 oh lord oh god we come back to you we don't have any other place of oh father god we don't have any other god oh lord oh god 
except you, O Master Lord of God. We don't have any, any other Savior. You are the only one. You are the one, Lord of God, we come back to. Oh Lord, oh God, our pastor is the one whom we go back to. Our church is the place where we go back to. Our friend is the one, oh Lord, oh God, who's always there for me. Oh Lord, oh God, my sister or my sibling or my parents are, oh Lord, oh God, my grandparents, my in-laws are, oh Lord, oh God, any uh, one of us, oh Lord, oh God, whom you have given to us, oh Master God. We cannot leave and go anywhere. Oh Lord, oh God, our spouse is the one Oh, Lord, oh, God, that you gave to us that the only one, oh, Master, Lord, oh, God. Hallelujah, that we can go back to. Mighty God, we seek your presence. We seek you now. You are the only one, oh, God. Your uh, place with you, oh, Lord, oh, God, is the only place where we are comforted, oh, Master, Lord, oh, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, Lord, oh, God, we come back to you. Mighty God, oh, Lord, oh, God, because we don't have any other one. God, we come to you, O Lord, O God. Accept us. We are coming home, mighty God, as we seek your presence, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen.